So this is my technique for transplanting small to medium sized Papaba somniferum or opium poppy plants. I call it the Wally method as I always liken it to the film Wally where if you've seen it he takes a small plant out of the ground and transfers it into a boot and we're going to be doing exactly the same thing except we'll be transferring it from a pot where it's currently being overshadowed by a much larger plant and transferring it into its own pot which will give it a lot more space, both for the roots and the foliage, and this will benefit both plants massively, as the more space they have, the larger and healthier they will grow. So here is a small opium poppy plant that has grown from a seed which has gone astray and germinated probably about three weeks after the main plant was potted. So all the others that grew have already been thinned out. Now to make it easier to dig out cleanly, bearing in mind that we want to cause the least damage to the main plant as possible, I'm going to take a relatively large kitchen knife, which doesn't have to be particularly sharp, just to dig around the soil that I'm going to be pulling out, keeping away as much as possible from the roots of both the plant that's being transplanted and the first larger plant which is going to stay in this pot. And once we've cut that, I'm just going to dig my hand straight down vertically into the soil and try and get my fingers under it just slightly to help me pull it out. And it should come up quite easily and cleanly depending on what the soil is like. It will help massively if you've got the same type of soil or compost or whatever media you're using in the new pot. There's also a small weed that's grown there, so I'll just pull that out as it's an ideal time to get rid of it. And now I'm going to fill in the space where it was with some more soil. Again, it does help if you can try to match the type of media that you used previously, and that will help to evenly distribute the water to the roots when you're watering it in future. So now I'm going to give both pots a good heavy watering I'll start with the transplanted one and as you can see it's a really well draining soil which is mostly made up of compost so it's pretty hard to overwater it. And now I'll do the same to the larger plant which shouldn't need quite as much water. So now all that's left to do is to label it and give it one last watering. So this is three days later and it's looking really healthy. So I'm now just gonna cover it over with a bell cloche for a week or so, as it's forecast to be a hard frost for the next few nights. So just to give it the best chance of survival, it's worth covering it. And I'll just pin the cloche in place with these pins and we'll come back to it in about six weeks to see how it turns out. And here we are six weeks later and as you can see it's grown into a lovely strong and healthy plant. So this is another ten days later and you can see that all of the petals and stamens have fallen off the flower and we've now got a nice healthy pod which will continue to grow for another week or so. And you can see we've also got several new buds which should flower over the next few days. So this pod and the others when they've developed will continue to grow larger and will then start to dry out and when the pods are fully dry we'll be able to collect the seeds which can then be dried out, then refrigerated, after which they can be tested for germination. And if they're viable, then we'll be ready to grow again. So thanks for watching. Please check the links in the description for where you can buy the seeds. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you're interested in growing poppies, then please subscribe as there should be more videos out very soon.